Okay, uh, today's a very special day, friends, uh, and we have uh, John Francolangia, and he has decided that he would like to be uh, baptized, and so I am super excited about this. Um, John's been with us for a while now, and uh, been a blessing to the church. Um, we're, we're so happy to have you, John and Vanessa, here. Um, and John would actually, come on up here, uh, he'd actually like to uh, share some of his testimony with everybody uh, before we actually, John. Uh, yeah, before we actually baptize. So here you go, John. Good morning. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. Um, I just want to say, first of all, that Pittsburgh is a very special place, and this church is very special. Um, I feel like it's been a blessing. Um, just know that this has not been easy for me, uh, but uh, I want to share this with God and you as my witness. So, uh, I believe there we go. I'm just going to share a couple pictures with you so you understand. Um, today, uh, dear Heavenly Father, today as I stand before you, surrounded by my fellow brothers and sisters in Christ, I am filling filled with an overwhelming sense of gratitude and awe. As I prepare to take this significant step of baptism as a Seventh-day Adventist, I feel compelled to share my testimony with all gathered here to proclaim the wondrous grace and love that has transformed my life. For 20 years of my life, I wore the uniform of a Green Beret, serving my country with honor and courage. I have experienced both <laughs> good <clears throat> and evil more than most during my time in Special Forces. The path of a soldier is often laden with unimaginable challenges and sacrifices. Through those years, I spent five years deployed to Iraq and Afghanistan, where I wished, witnessed the harsh realities of war, its toll on the human spirit and the darkness that can engulf even the bravest of hearts. Amidst the battlefield, I gri grappled with PTSD and depression and the agonizing burden of drug addiction. I selfishly put my life on and job first, which led me to a path of sin. I did not care for my health, body, and mind, and burnt myself out completely. In, the soul's in my soul's depths was a void, a darkness that seemed insurmountable. The horrors of war left indelible scars on my heart and mind. I felt myself spiraling into an abyss of despair and hopelessness. My life became unmanageable, and night after night, haunted by haunting memories, I turned to drugs, seeking an escape from the pain that seemed to consume me from within. I searched for something, something, and tried other programs and therapy for years. But you, O oh Lord, never abandoned me. Your gentle hand guided me even through the darkest of moments. Amid my struggles, you sent angels in the form of loving family and friends who never gave up on me. Praying for my healing and encouraging me to seek help, and so I reached out, seeking the support I needed to confront the demons that held me captive. In that process of healing and restoration, I found myself turning to you, Lord, seeking solace and answers. Your Holy Spirit has guided me throughout my life, but I became lost. I would never have survived or experienced my fantastic life without you. I sought refuge in your word, and through its timeless wisdom, I discovered the boundless depths of your love, mercy, and self-evident truth. Your promises in scripture became my lifeline, guiding me toward a path of redemption and hope. One fateful day, as I cried out to you in my anguish, broken and humbled, you revealed yourself to me in a way I could never have anticipated. Your presence enveloped me, filling me with a profound sense of peace and comfort. It was, the mom it was a moment of divine intervention that forever altered the course of my life. This proof was the day that you sent me my angel and wife, Vanessa. <clears throat> Through your grace, I found a community of believers the Seventh-day Adventist family, who welcomed me with open arms and hearts. They showed me the beauty of your Sabbath rest and the day set apart for communion and reflection. In the fellowship of this loving community, I learned the significance of surrendering my burdens to you, trusting in your plan, and finding strength in your word and Jesus Christ. In your hands, Lord, I found renewal and redemption. 
You transferred my, transformed my heart, breaking the chains of addiction and replacing them with a hunger for your truth and righteousness. Through prayer and supplication, I discovered that healing is a journey, not an instant destination. Yet through every step, your guidance and love will never waver to walk with Christ. To walk with Christ is a lifelong journey that results in redemption forever. Today, as I stand on the threshold of baptism, I am a testament to your grace and mercy. And like David, Joshua, or Samson, all warriors that were strong and blessed by God with great gifts, they were all chosen to fight for your plan. I now understand why my experiences were what they were. My journey from a broken soldier to a redeemed child of God reflects your boundless love for each one of your creation. You took a shattered life and breathed hope, purpose, and joy into it. Soon a high school dropout will have their own business, a master's degree in management, and a retirement from the military. Most of all, I have God's grace, a loving family, and my health. Heavenly Father, I lift my eyes to you in profound thanksgiving. You have been my refuge, my fortress, and my healer. You have restored my soul and led me to the waters of baptism, signifying a new birth in Christ. As I des descend into the waters, I, I lay my past at your feet and rise with a heart full of gratitude and dedication to serving you. May my life be a living testimony to your transformative power, and may I continually strive to live in accordance with your will. Bless this sacred moment. And may it inspire others to seek your loving embrace, just as you embraced me in my darkest hour. In your name of your precious Son, Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. 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 Uh, this, is, uh, this is an amazing moment for, for John, for all of us, for his family. And um, we would... Uh, I, well, I know I personally would love to have uh, John here in church fellowship with us. So um, I'm just going to ask John a few questions, and then we're going to uh, take him to uh, this special moment. So John, do you believe Jesus died for you personally, and do you accept him as the Lord of your life and commit your life to him? Yes, I do. Amen. Amen. John... Do you commit to give your life to sharing the three angels' message with the world? The message of Christ's righteousness and the last message of mercy to the world? Yes, I do. Absolutely. Amen. All right. So I have a question for, or a, re a request for all of, of, all of you as well. Um, I'd like to recommend that someone make a motion to affirm John's baptism and welcome him into fellowship of the uh, Pittsburgh Seventh-day Adventist Church. Do we have a motion? Motion. Do we have a second? All right. All in favor, give a, a, a good hearty welcome. 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 <laughs> All right. So, uh, John, um, welcome to the family. Let's, uh, let's go into the waters. This is a big moment, friends. John Francolangia, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Give him a hand. All right. Welcome, John, to the family. Um, 
I'd also like to ask uh, if there's anybody who would like to be rebaptized or move toward baptism, um, let myself or one of the elders know, and we'd like to, uh, to help you on that road. So uh, thank you, everyone, for welcoming uh, John here into the family, and uh, praise God for this, this uh, major day.